Today, let's talk about your spending habits. You really needed one, so you bought a shiny new smartphone, then a headset for hands-free calls, adjustable car mount to prop the phone for navigation, a cool-looking wireless charger that your favorite YouTuber recommended, and you absolutely had to buy that Bluetooth speaker for the parties, right? But wait. You no longer use most of these things as often as you thought you might. You went into spiral of purchases just because of one product that you bought initially, only to find most of these things lying in the drawer now. Big companies are not only aware of this particular spending habit, they also actively exploit it to sell you more and more of their stuff. They appeal to your sense of identity with their new product, make more products that complement it, leading you into spiraling consumption of their product buffet. This is what economists call as the Didero effect. Let's travel back to France during the age of enlightenment. Co-founder of one of the first encyclopedia, philosopher writer Denis Didero was having problem making arrangement for his daughter's wedding. Despite his immense knowledge, he had modest means of living. To his rescue came the then Queen of Russia, Catherine the Great. She bought all the books in Didero's library and paid him handsomely. She also gifted him an elegant scarlet gown. But his happiness with newly acquired wealth was short-lived. The gown was so beautiful that every other possession of his paled in comparison. In his own words, there is no more coordination, no more unity, no more beauty. Didero became obsessed, replacing most of his belongings to match to the standards of his shiny garment, leading to the man of his intellect back into poverty. Reflecting back at this odd behavior, Didero wrote in one of his essays, I was the absolute master of my old dressing gown but I have become a slave to my new one. Beware of the contamination of sudden wealth. The poor man may take his ease without thinking of appearances, but the rich man is always under the strain. So next time you are out there to buy something new, think of poor Didero. Don't let your new purchase become your scarlet gown. Remember, the things you own end up owning you. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned to One for the Road for more videos like this.